for years, people in Manitowoc have called it an eyesore. Now they won't have to look at it much longer. The Miro building produced pots and pans for years, but they shut their doors in 2003, leaving it empty. Well, today was the start of that demolition process. NBC 26's Mo Heider watched those first bricks come down. For years, people in Manitowoc have wondered when this building behind me will go away. Now they can finally put it in the past. Some people are saying goodbye to more than an empty building. It's a building that probably put bread and oleo on my kitchen table as I was having my family. For Vicki Rathsack, their memories crumbling down. Oh, in the March of 1957, we came over here. A bunch of girls from, Mir from Lincoln High School was hired. So then we started what's called the tabulating department. James Kobes worked at Murrow for more than four decades. I was treated real well. Never in my 44 years did I have to worry I wasn't going to have a job tomorrow. In 2003, the business left Manitowoc, leaving behind an empty building. City officials saying it's hurting their community. When uh, tourists come down our main street, they see this, and they see it as a dying community. Last year, the city bought the building and is ready to show people the community is still alive. And I think when this is down, we really can, can start a, a new chapter. Former employees say they'll cherish the good memories, but now they're ready to let go of the past. Yes, it's for the moving on of the city of Manitowoc. I mean, I'm, I was proud of that building when it was still all intact, but now, no, it's, it's time. In Manitowoc, Mo Heider, NBC 26. Manitowoc Mayor Justin Nichols says they're not sure what might go up in the building's place. The city does plan to meet to go over the options.